Hi guys, NavIQ here. So if you've been following the first round of videos, which is pre-inspection, this is the first one to discuss during inspection. Today's the first day, it's towards the afternoon, um, and I'm waiting for the feedback from the inspectors and they've gone and they've convened to, to discuss the, the day. Um, first day, of course, you've got to understand that it can be a nervous and anxious day, but it's actually gone really, really well. Nice and calm, staff are happy. Um, decent enough feedback from staff of how they feel. Um, meetings have gone really, really well. The inspection team has been highly supportive, um, caring towards our needs as well, trying to work with us as a school, which is really, really important. And they are fair, uh, and you cannot ask for more than that. As far as the paperless system is concerned, I had no issues with that. Um, everything has been able to, and you can access it quite easily. Uh, and that's important, Wi-Fi connectivity is important because inspectors have iPads and they may go around the school and if the Wi-Fi disconnects, so if you are a school, you have to consider that. There shouldn't be a lag in your connectivity, that's also important as well. And that's gone really, really well. So overall, first day, first um, impressions, positive, uh, I feel. And I'll just wait another half an hour and get the feedback. More to come tomorrow, thank you. Hi guys, it's the third day of the inspection. Apologies, yesterday was a really busy day so I was not able to give an update. So really today is about yesterday and today. And what I will say is during the process, as a principal, you may feel a little bit of a spare part because everything happens around you. You are involved in some things, but generally speaking, any leader will tell you it's not about you, but your team and your colleagues and everyone else that support. So, Everything happens around you and you will find that and you think, okay, can I do more, can I do more? So you have to be patient um, when it comes to that. Secondly, the feedback has been really, really fair. And I found over the years, the inspection process and the inspectors and the team and the feedback has been very, very supportive, uh, very helpful, developmental, always wanting to make a difference, always saying to you, uh, these are the points and you always have the opportunity to support and um, I find being transparent and honest and giving the evidence is really important because sometimes they may not see what you see and unless and until and unless should I say you don't show them that they will not know so for them to be able to confirm um, and provide evidence we have to provide evidence so be organized and be astute to that of what they're asking you what they require and try to build that relationship with them that honest relationship so that you can provide what you can provide it is tiring um, everyone is anxious as a leader everyone will look at you so it's really important to be calm um, under the circumstances even if you don't feel calm even if you are nervous even if you are anxious it's absolutely critical wherever I go in the school everyone's looking at me some are comfortable enough to say to me are you all right how's it going uh, and I have an open conversation some from a distance will stare but the fact is everyone's looking at you as a principal as leaders so they will all turn to you as a leader. So you have to be calm, calm mind, cool head, um, and just go through the process and try to enjoy it as best you can. More to come tomorrow. So tomorrow will be our final day. Feedback will be given at some point uh, today and tomorrow, obviously. Um, and it's been an enjoyable process under the circumstances. So uh, more to come tomorrow. Thank you. Hi guys, it's the last day of inspection. Um, I want to tell you about the first part of what's basically happened in the morning and then I'll tell you the second part. Uh, really, what you need to do and think about in the last day is, obviously there's a lot of meetings that take place and lots of feedback given and so much information. People can be emotional in those particular times and it's important, my advice in this is to have a particular form that staff members can fill in to try to get as much information as possible. Um, just so that you're ahead uh, and you can start whenever you want to with the information. So what I generally tend to do is give a, a standard feedback form out to everyone, debrief them to say, fill this out, specifically in these particular areas of strengths and areas of development, um, and then compile that together and someone you know, types it up and it's you know, as accurate as it can be. That's really, really important. And then secondly, of course, when you, we've had our feedback today, um, obviously, you know, we're not allowed to say anything about the outcomes of various things that comes out uh, when it's officially published, but the process has been really, really good, really positive, you know, um, the inspector's very supportive, staff members are really happy um, under the circumstances because it can be stressful and um, really appreciate everyone. And if any of them are watching this, I really would like to say thank you to everyone because it's been great, a great experience. 
my second weekend, but um, really, really enjoyed. Uh, everyone, everyone made me feel welcome here. I will talk next week and make a shorter video about the post inspection and what the process might be then and perhaps some of the things to start off. But here and now, the inspection's over, still standing, hence the video standing. Um, and thank you for listening to this particular part. If you'd like to watch the next section, which is post inspection, please do. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Please do like, please do subscribe, and please do share. Thank you.